Hey guys, it's Stacy with HGTVNews.com and today we're at the Sony booth at CES 2013. What you see here, what, what you're seeing behind me is the world's first and largest 4K Ultra HD OLED television set. OLED gives you spectacular colors and vibrant, it's just more lifelike. But when you add that to 4K Ultra HD, it's like looking through an open window. This TV is a prototype to show that regardless of what happens in the future, Sony's going to be at the forefront. We are already selling an 84 inch 4K Ultra HD TV today. What is Ultra HD. It is four times the resolution of a traditional HD TV. And there's three benefits. You can sit closer to the TV, the TV can be bigger, and the picture is much, much clearer. This year, we have at the show, we're adding a 65 and a 55 inch model to the lineup. So now, regardless of your needs, we have a TV for you. This television set behind me is a prototype model. Um, it will ship eventually. Okay. That's the best way to explain it. So it's but, coming. Yes, but our 84 and our uh, is, is shipping now. Okay. Our 55 and 65 is shipping by late spring. On top of that, you don't have to just watch 4K content on this TV. This TV takes all of your broadcast content, your cable, your satellite, your games, and it upscales all of that to 4K. And to put it in perspective, you can sit closer to our 84-inch 4K Ultra HD TV than you can a 46-inch. HD TV while you're watching your Blu-ray and it looks like you're looking through an open window. So last year, late last year, we, we introduced our 84 inch 4K. These are two new sizes. We have the uh, 65 inches and the 55 inches. Um, slight differences between the two televisions, but fundamentally the same television set you're talking about 4K on both of them. Um, the, the story with this TV is that now 4K is viable at smaller sizes and obviously different price points. Um, what we're saying to people is that a 4K television not only makes 4K look amazing, but it also makes 2K content look great. So your Blu-ray content, your HD TV content from cable or satellite will look amazing on a 4K television because the TV will up convert that. Now, in terms of sound, this television has amazing speakers built in. Yes, everybody wants thin, everybody wants thin televisions, but of course, sound quality suffers. What we've decided to do with these, besides the fact that we have the speakers pointing out to you, we're using liquid, uh, magnetic liquid, uh, magnetic fluid um, speakers. So, as a result, there is no damper between the cones. You have a significantly smaller profile speaker uh -huh. sounds great yeah we have three speakers or technically two speakers okay this is a passive driver right. okay. it's connected to a subwoofer that's underneath it okay you have a tweeter that's placed dead center in the screen and then you have a woofer right over here gotcha. okay. this makes it so that when you're listening to vocals or audio mm -hmm. the tweeter makes it so that the sound seems and feels like it's coming from the screen yeah. okay. not someone talking from the end yeah, or yeah. something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. awesome. now we want for people to understand that a 4K television makes 2K content look great. And that's because one of the biggest objections to a 4K television is lack of content. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what we're doing later on this year is we're launching a commercially viable 4K content distribution yeah. service. Okay. You will be able to get full-length blockbuster movies available to you through Sony's distribution mechanism. by the internet to your... Uh, That's a very good question. So currently what we're doing with the 84 inch, uh -huh. the 84 inch comes with a server that comes oh, yeah. with movies okay. preloaded on yeah. it. As and when new content becomes available, Sony will ship you a Blu-ray data disc that has the oh, movies. Okay. You essentially put it in, you transfer the content off the disc onto your player. Okay. Okay. So is that how the transportation is going to be when the service official launches? I do not know. Okay. Is it over IP? I do not know. I mean, there are pros okay. and cons to both of them, yeah. but obviously it's still very new. It's Cutting very it's new. Yeah. No, no, no details have been announced just yet. Okay. So uh, any idea on um, release dates or prices for the two For the 55 and the 65, we're talking early spring. No pricing okay. has been announced yet. Okay. But it will be competitively priced. That's good. What we're talking about here is TV side view. TV side view is the evolution of where our media remote application has come from. Before, when we noticed people were watching TV, they had their tablet, their cell phone, all sitting with them, and they're doing different searches on those. This kind of brought it all together so you can control your living room and use your tablet or your cell phone as a hub. So what we started off first with is the TV guide. We were able to bring the program guide down onto the tablet, allow you to easily search and find the TV that you're watching. 
select a channel, and then even hit watch. If I'm going to rule this nation one day. And it sends a signal to your TV and allows you to change your channel from there. All doing it without going into the program guide of your television itself. Even beyond there, we added what we call cross search. So by voice search, I can say 007. And it's going to search 007 across my TV guide, my video unlimited, music unlimited for hours, Netflix, DLNA content on my home network, any applications that are on my TV, as well as YouTube, web search, and everything else. From there, if I wanted to watch a YouTube video, I could select that. It'll bring me to my YouTube list. If I wanted to watch the Skyfall video, I can select it from there. Okay. Now, it's really great to watch the Skyfall video on your tablet, but maybe the rest of the family would like to watch it. I'm able to hit the watch on TV button. Hey, hey, hey. So now I'm watching the YouTube video on the new screen. So the ability to watch that and have your whole family enjoy it instead of on the small screen of the tablet is great. Now if I want to go back to watching TV like I was before, I can hit the button again. It will send the video back down to my tablet. I can continue watching it on the tablet and continue watching TV. So that is side view. Thank you so much. At this section of the Sony booth, what we're displaying is our Triluminous technology, a feature set in, uh, in the mid-range and higher Bravia television sets. On one side you can see a uh, very good high-definition TV, likewise high-definition TV on the, on the left, but with Triluminous color. Uh, the idea behind Triluminous color is a combination of picture engine chipset uh, with uh, screen lighting and it expands the color palette. So uh, what we like to tell people is one TV is like showing up at kindergarten with a 64 box of Crayola crayons. The, the Triluminous TV is like showing up at kindergarten with 128 oh, much uh, more. box of uh, Crayola crayons. Awesome. That's great. I mean, you can see the, you can see the difference immediately. So. Yeah, it's, uh, you'll see it particularly with reds, the various uh, striations oh, yeah. in the color palette in reds. Yeah. Uh, traditional uh, HD television will compress those reds. Okay. Sometimes maybe you look at a petal of a flower, it will just be one shape of red. Uh, with this, you'll see the, the various subtle. Yeah. It seems a lot deeper, like a lot richer color and uh, also and, uh, more natural. A lot well. broader, a lot broader yeah. in the palette uh, spectrum, and uh, really gives uh, you, the viewer at home, uh, an opportunity to see what the director and the producer had when they created their content, oh, yeah. the vision that they had. Wow. That's great. Thank you very much. This projector is full 3D, so you can take the glasses out of the box, set it up, and you're ready to go. Retail price on it is $25,000 US. Uh, it's available, it's been out since uh, January of 2012. Okay. So it's been out for a full year. Yep. And really Sony's the only company that's fully involved in every step of 4K workflow, from creation of 4K movies and content to delivery to the home and also exhibition and movie theaters. Uh, we actually, the big brother to this projector, we have about 85% market share. Uh, worldwide in digital cinema, yeah. so we have over 15,000 of our big 4K projectors installed worldwide and that number keeps going yeah. up and up. So okay. everything that happens in the movie theater comes to the home eventually yeah. and Sony's really the industry leader. So you can draw a straight line from Culver City in California yeah. right to your living room. Okay. That's amazing. Really what we're showing here on this display is the system is a complete Sony ES uh, home theater package essentially. So from a 4K projector to our flagship 5800 ES AV receiver. Mm -hmm. It's a 130 watt 9.2 AV surround sound system receiver. And then we have our NAES uh, speakers that are new for this year in North America. So we'll actually, I'll show you the back of this okay, sure, the AV you. receiver just so you can see a couple of the features that are really oh, wow, look at that. key. So again, we support full 9.2 surround sound right inside the box. As I said, it's 130 watts by nine. We have a four port integrated ethernet switch that's audio grade. So when you plug in an ethernet cable, if the other ports aren't plugged in, they turn themselves off so you get much higher bandwidth oh, for those individual ports. We have nine HDMI inputs. We support 4K pass-through, which means that if you had a 4K signal, it will just pass straight through unmolested by the oh, AV dumb. receiver. Yeah. And we also support zone two output for HDMI. So we actually have a built-in HDMI matrix. Okay. So what that means to the consumer is they can actually watch two HDMI sources in two different rooms at the same time. Oh, that's very cool. And without, without affecting each other. Um, 
We also have legacy connections here for component video, so maybe you have an existing home system that's wired with component, we support that, um, as well as a multitude of you know, control inputs and outputs. One of the great features of this projector, or excuse me, of this amplifier, is that it actually has a Control 4 controller built right inside of it. Okay. So with a $300 activation license, you can actually turn this thing into a home automation system. So you can control your lights, uh -huh. control your thermostat, wow, very security, and door locks right inside that's the crazy. package. Very impressive. Thank you. And then a along with the rest of the family that we've got here. These are the brand new ES loudspeakers. Uh, they've just come to the United, or North America, excuse me, for this year. So one of the innovative features of these speakers is the IRA tweeter. So it looks like it's three separate tweeters, but it actually acts as one. Okay. Each one of these speakers takes about three months to build. Oh, wow. So there's nine layers of lacquer. Uh -huh. So it's not something that's just run off of a machine. They're yeah. actually built by artisans in Japan oh, wow. in the same factory as our flagship okay. AR1 and AR2 speakers. Okay. Well, these speakers retail for $27,000, $20,000 respectively. We have the exact same design philosophy with the rest of the speakers here. So you could not only do a two-channel hi-fi system, but you could actually set it up in a multi-channel surround sound system. Okay. And that's actually what we're demonstrating inside the room okay. here. Okay, so take a look at that for sure. Please, we'd like you to come in there and check it out. Okay, well thank you very much. You're very welcome.